Hello everyone on Facebook. I'm Mitch McCoy here at KRK and Fox 16. We are uh, carrying this special broadcast this afternoon. We're talking about gun locks. We're talking about gun safety. Uh, as you may recall, uh, yesterday we heard that uh, just heartbreaking news that the Little Rock Police Department put out that there was an accidental shooting involving a four year old. That four year old died at the hospital. That investigation uh, underway right now. We don't know the circumstances. We don't want to jump to any conclusions, but it, it opens up a conversation about gun safety and it opens up a conversation about gun locks. We're in the middle of COVID-19. More people are at home. We're in the middle of summer months, meaning more kids are at home. So um, we want to bring in Little Rock Police uh, Officer Eric Barnes. Uh, Officer Barnes, thank you for joining us. You bet. So talk to us a little bit about these gun locks. You have them actually right now and people can pick them up at the Little Rock Police Department. Right, so about August of last year, we joined a uh, kind of a, a movement that was going forward, Project Child Safe, that they've been a uh, company for many years that provide uh, free gun locks, uh, such like these. Uh, they're gun locks that just go through the weapon to be able to uh, secure a weapon that you have at your home. Uh, and the real initiative behind a lot of this is uh, gun locks and safety for uh, kids in the in your residence. And, you know, being in Arkansas where either uh, guns are used for hunting and different sports or safety, uh, something that we all need to address and make sure that we do have kids, teenagers, uh, someone that's interested in uh, guns. One, we educate them about it and then two, we secure them. Can you show us those gun locks one more time? Uh, we have you up full. Tell us yeah. what they are. So here's the gun lock. Um, uh, when it comes in the package, it comes with instructions uh, as well as a little slogan on it, respect it, secure it, uh, with some information about gun safety. Essentially, this lock will just go through uh, uh, the mechanisms of the gun, come back and lock, uh, uh, not able for a, uh, ammunition to be put into a weapon, and I guess charge that weapon for it to be loaded. Uh, so these are uh, the gun locks that we give out. And what we've done in uh, the, just the last 24 hours is we made sure we have 80 more gun locks out at each of our uh, patrol divisions uh, throughout the city. So 20 at each division, each four locations. Uh, and I encourage people to go by and pick them up. You know, this is something that we want people to be safe. We want uh, people to be able to have their weapon and secure it and not have an incident, unfortunately, like we had yesterday. So um, we just put up the address gun locks available at LRPD 700 West Markham. Right. How how easy is it to get a gun lock? Are, are there a lot of questions being asked? Can I just walk in and say, hey, yeah. can I have a gun lock? Yeah, absolutely. No questions asked. Just uh, come in, uh, either the secretary or one of the divisions. We also have them at the 700 West Markham, our Northwest, our 12th Street, and our Southwest locations. So all throughout the city, uh, close to the uh, community which you live in. Uh, just come by, ask for the secretary or the uh, front desk officer. No questions asked. We just ask you to take one lock so we can try to reach more families um, with these locks. Uh, you know, we were uh, donated quite a few of these locks came from the organization. Some come from different agencies that have provided them to us. So uh, we don't have enough to just give everybody at once. But we'll, once we use these, we'll request more and uh, try to continue to have these at each division for people to come and pick up. You know, um, I remember in, in my reporter days uh, covering uh, several accidental shootings. This is not a unique conversation here uh, in the city of Little Rock. This is a conversation that has been had before. Um, how important is it for people to realize that this can happen to them? A tragedy like this, a child finding a gun, uh, laying around can happen uh, it, to, to just a, an ordinary family like possibly uh, yesterday. Again, that's under investigation. We don't want to speculate to what happened, but how how easy is it to, to kind of become numb and say, oh, that, that won't happen to me? Yeah, I mean, if you have children or small children, you know how inquisitive they are and how uh, curios their curiosity is running wild. So accidents happen and it's what we don't want to see. Uh, so we're definitely want to educate people on the front end. Um, best ways to store it, uh, not storing your weapon and your ammunition together. Uh, and I understand the argument that some people give, you know, 
not being able to have their weapon accessible. Uh, and I think anytime you have a child in the home that is not, uh, I guess, educated on how to use the weapon and knows the fundamental safety of the weapon, uh, safety comes well before accessibility. So these gun locks, if they're used correctly, uh, at least could be a prevention measure, something like this happening. And, and again, you know, it's uh, accidents do happen, but uh, we just try to put another uh, safety step in place to try to prevent it. Right. Uh, while uh, uh, you're standing by, I just want to bring up some, some quick facts here. Uh, this is from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Uh, 1.7 million children live with unlocked loaded guns. That is 1.7 million children. Again, this is from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. In 2015, 2,824 children aged 0 to 19 died by gunshot and an additional 13,723 were injured and 89% of unintentional shooting deaths occur in a home. Um, this, these are, these are, these are powerful numbers here, Officer Barnes. Yeah, absolutely. It just goes to reiterate how much we need to uh, educate and continue to push the drive for gun safety. You know, we, we understand that guns are going to be in the home and they have their place. Uh, you know, a lot something just like this, uh, even if you can't get one from our station, I think they're probably anywhere from 10 to $20, very inexpensive. I understand that the saves, gun saves and things, they can get a bit pricey, but something just like this is fairly inexpensive. Uh, that if you do have a weapon, it just gives, a, it, and you have a child at home, it gives you just a little bit more peace of mind knowing that when your weapon's not with you, that it's uh, another layer of security has been put in place. So that's really all we ask. And the website, projectchildsafe.org, has a lot of helpful resources. They have information about how to talk to your kids. You know, when's the best time to talk to your kid? Um, you know, when you look at um, just where we're at right now as uh, in, in America with uh, kids are at home, kids are playing video games. Uh, some video games have guns, you know, there's guns on TV, so they're curious about guns. And I think it's appropriate for each parent to talk to their child when they feel it's comfortable. Uh, but have that conversation and simple rules, you know, if you see a gun, what to do, uh, stop, don't touch it, notify an adult. Just very simple things that you could start instilling into your kids, try to help um, these numbers continue to climb or uh, a tragic incident from happening. You know, we're watching some video while you're uh, talking and, and it's about these gun locks. They look fairly simple to you, some of them. Uh, I guess all of them will come with a key. Uh, they look fairly simple, a, a very simple tool that yeah. will save a life. Yeah, so they are very simple. They're just uh, a key to unlock. Uh, you unload the weapon, you slide it through the, uh, the chamber of the weapon where the, the bullet would go. And you put it back in there, turn the key, and it's locked. Uh, and, you know, that alone is a good measure. But take the next step, you know, put a weapon where it's not out of the reach of kids. Uh, and I know kids may be explorers and find it, but... Uh, try to take those extra measures even after it's locked to not get it in the child's hand. Uh, but yeah, extremely simple, um, something that it, the instructions tell you how to use it. Uh, like I said, it's just an, a very inexpensive tool that you can try to use to help uh, secure your weapons. Um, let's go through the information one more time. Gun locks available, 700 West Markham at the Little Rock Police Department. Um, right. and, and did you say that they're also at some of the substations, the, the offices? Yeah, we'll, we'll also put that on our social media here in a little bit. Uh, 3917 was 12th at our 12th Street Station, 6401 Base on that's our Southwest Patrol Division as well, and then 10,001 Canis Road, that's our Northwest Division, as well as our main headquarters, 700 West Markham. We'll have, we were able to get 80 of them, so 20 apiece for each uh, patrol district have been given to the front desk officers or either the secretaries there at the divisions and they're aware people will be coming. I think last time we made the push last August, uh, we were out within just a couple of days. Wow. Um, and they were asking for more, so we requested more. Now we've kind of got uh, another good bundle to give out and we want to push them out and get them out in the community that way. Maybe if just one gun lock can uh, prevent uh, something from happening, you know, we, we never know how they're going to be used and if they're going to be used, but we can just give that tool out to the community and hopefully that it prevents something somewhere down the line. You're absolutely right. Well, 
Um, gun locks available right now. Little Rock Police Department headquarters, 700 West Markham. Is there a time that, that people have to come or, or can they come when they get off work? They might be watching during lunchtime right now. Uh, can they come at six o'clock tonight or seven o'clock tonight or does it have to be during business hours? Uh, most of our, our stations are manned 24 seven. Uh, our, our secretaries and desk officers aren't there in the evening hours and at night. We had to do have officers that are working out of the stations. So uh, somebody will be there to get one. Um, if you have any questions, just call us beforehand. Before you come up, you can look up our numbers on the internet or your patrol division. But yeah, somebody should be there. We'll work it out and make sure you get a gun lock. All right, it's uh, uh, lunchtime. Uh, gun locks available right now. Little Rock Police Department Headquarters, 700 West Markham. It's in the city of Little Rock. Um, head there right now. Head to a, one of your nearest substations uh, here in the city of Little Rock and get one of those gun locks. It may save a life. Officer Barnes, thank you very much. Is there anything else that you'd like to say? No, have a great day and be safe. All right, Officer Barnes, Little Rock Police Department. Thank you so much. We do appreciate it. Gun locks available again, 700 West Markham, LRPD headquarters. Uh, this is such an important topic, an important conversation to have after the city faced a, a tragic event yesterday. A four year old boy died uh, in what uh, police are calling an accidental shooting. Again, we don't want to jump to conclusions about what happened or the circumstances regarding it, but we felt like it was just an important conversation to have uh, since these gun locks are available right now. Uh, provided by the Little Rock Police Department. So thank you for joining us here on Facebook Live. We do appreciate it. We'll be back later today with more content as news happens. For now, I'm Mitch McCoy at KRK4 and Fox 16.